Another uh, uh, type of data that we can deal with is the floating point data types. They're designed to store real numbers that have a, a, a whole part and a fractional part. So we're going to have a we're going to have a separate section dedicated to those, dedicated to the precision with which you can store uh, fractional numbers, and uh, in general uh, operations such as rounding and comparing floating point, point data types come with their own territory and challenges and a set of rules and even the standards that we have to be aware of um, and follow uh, uh, one time or the other. So we're going to have a separate discussion on this, uh, but um, uh, you know, in general, the size of a float is four bytes in memory, and size of a double is an eight bytes uh, in memory. And the precision with which you can store uh, those numbers varies from uh, six or seven in the float to up to fifteen in the double precision number. So more talk about you know specific talk about uh, those data types. Uh, in the nearest future. So Boolean data type is designed to store uh, flag uh, style information, yes or no, uh, true or false. Uh, so and it, it, it allows you to manipulate only those uh, two values, true and false. So if you have to convert uh, to an integer, uh, you have to write a statement that does that. I'll do it when we switch to co coding, and we'll, we'll, we'll do some demonstrations here today. Uh, so uh, perhaps right now we can we can do some of, some of this, uh, you know, in in our code. So let me close this window. So I have this program. I don't know if I if I any longer want to to print this statement. Let me just uh, write some code at the top, and then we can uh, use this uh, print statement. So what I can do is that I can uh, declare an integer, say count, right, and initialize it with zero, right. That's one possibility. I could create a double, uh, double variable, and name it uh, a pi, or something like that, and uh, to keep uh, my pi constant unchangeable, I can, uh, I can declare it final. Uh, once I declare something final, it becomes, uh, 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 I can initialize it with like, uh, you know, uh, that's as far as I, I can remember pi value. Um, uh, and uh, I, so I can in initialize that and uh, then um, uh, I can use those variables. Uh, for example, I can say um, uh, another perhaps double, uh, and I name it result something, uh, equals uh, count uh, multiplied by pi. So multiplication symbol in uh, Java is uh, asterisk, right? And what happens here is that we know that count is four bytes in memory. That's what Java standard, Java documentation tells us. Whereas double variable, uh, which is this pi constant, uh, is um, uh, like you know completely different size and even com completely different different way of storing information with those two two parts, the uh, whole part and the fractional part. Uh, so uh, when when this uh, um, uh, expression of you know that includes multiplication takes place, uh, it's always the uh, that the larger data types the data type in memory wins in terms that the count which is smaller variable in terms of how much space it takes in memory is promoted to double. It gets promoted. So it gets promoted to this data type so that the multiplication can take place. And then the result, of course, comes back as another double value. So these are examples of variable declarations. So de a variable declaration is an executable statement. The statement has to finish with a semicolon. Uh, the, um, 
uh, the statement has to the declaration statement has to use the data type and then has to provide a variable name and then uh, there's an optional initializer but very desirable to have an initializer in place and as you can see in this third example initializer can be the whole expression so ex initializer is not limited to just a hard-coded value of some sort it can be the entire expression that includes other variables and other uh, you know other parts for example I could also divide the value by two whatever that means but I could do that yes question To a double. During this computation, yes. Okay, but you use it later on. Uh, 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 yeah, this is only a temporary action to to compute. Uh, by the way, very good question. We also have to say, uh, have to uh, consider what really happens here. So perhaps what what needs to happen at this point is that somehow we need to promote promote uh, count to double right this needs to happen that what has to happen is that uh, multi multiply we can now multiply but next we also have to divide and in general even as as soon as we promote count to double what happens is that we store the result in some sort of a temporary uh, temporary uh, location it could be a temporary memory location or it could be somewhere in the uh, CPU register which is a memory location built directly into your proce processor so uh, we can say that uh, 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 quite a few manipulations take place here while we are trying to execute uh, and you know and come up with a meaningful uh, result with with this uh, uh, um, you know that uh, represents this expression so the result of this expression is a temporary value which is stored in some temporary location and that temporary value is where all the promotions and and, and rounding and everything else that may be taking place during this multiplication and division take, take place and then the result finally is stored somewhere again in the variable that is named and I named it and named it a result so it's kind of interesting observation that expressions come with the fact that temporary values are produced and manipulated and used and in many cases those temporary variable temporary values in those temporary locations may limit or uh, what you can or or cannot do with them uh, this, the simplest demonstration would be if I took this expression and I used like grouping parentheses you know I cannot assign a value to it this is like complete violation it's like okay we all know that temporary value some places produced but it's illegal to assign it yet another value so it's just you know something that goes probably way beyond our class but since there was a question that is a little demo on that part okay so anyway uh, so the count remains an integer and the double remains a double but during the computation promotions do take place to kind of equalize their their types so that they can then be used in in producing the final result more on this later because we're going to talk about CAS. Let me check the time. Okay, one more demonstration. I could say this. I could <laughs> say that. Um, let, let me shut down this player. Uh, all right. Um, I can say result is, and uh, what is available here that you can say plus one to uh, plus plus result um, uh, the print line statement allows us to use strings such as this one uh, in uh, um, uh, you know in generating uh, console output but strings in their own turn allow to be concatenated with uh, 
those primitive data types such as integer or double or any other and uh, and therefore uh, you know it's possible to come up with those types of things those expressions that that mix uh, strings and other types of variables so if I run this it simply says oh well that's interesting what's going on here uh, one second <coughs> 